Hey everybody! So we're hanging out in my sewing room today. I thought it'd be a fun place for us to chat. Have you ever watched those videos on YouTube of these girls when they just come back from like a shopping spree and they're unpacking all their bags and they're showing off all of their stuff that they found or that they got a really good deal on? You guys ever watch any of those? My guilty pleasure is that I totally love those and I often find myself like, oh, you're going to look so good in that sweater and oh my god, those pants are so cute even though the girl can't hear me. Well, all that to say, I thought I could do an unpacking video today. I just returned from this magical place called the Dollar Tree. Now in the past when I've gone in the Dollar Tree I wasn't wearing my art teacher and goggles but the other day I went in there and I was like oh my gosh it's the Mecca. I could use everything in there in my art room. So I thought I would share with you some things I picked up today, why I bought them, how I plan to use them in my art room and um, on my blog down below you'll find the one or two things that I didn't buy and why you should probably go back and buy them because you're going to want them in your art room as well. So let's start out with some of the fun painting applicators I bought. So my buddy Laura Lohman who maintains the blog Paint and Paper, she's a fellow um, art scout troop leader of mine, she obviously because of the name of her blog is big into painted paper and she doesn't just use paintbrushes she uses a ton of other things or she allows her students to use a ton of other things to apply the paint to the paper and she really inspires me in that respect so when I was at the Dollar Tree I found great things that my students could use to apply paint so I got these fun guys a couple of these keep in mind at the Dollar Tree everything is a dollar. I'll tell you a story about that in a second. So I think these will be fabulous and fun. This little guy looks like a good time. I mean the kids are gonna go bananas. I did see scrunchies but then I saw that you could get a pack of four scrunchies for the price of one dollar. So that I splurged on as well. And then I got kind of wild and crazy. I think the coffee kicked in and I got some hair rollers. I don't know. I just imagined that they have a really great texture on them. I thought the kids could either roll them through clay or roll them through paint. So those are some fun paint applicators that I bought today. Oh, this applicator of paint I'm really excited about but I'm going to test it out first so I only bought one. How fun would it be to put some water soluble paint in here and have a giant canvas or a giant piece of fabric that the kids could spray the paint on? So with one of these giant water squirters. I'll keep you posted on that. I was so tempted to buy a bajillion of these for a bunch of different colors but I limited myself to one just so I could give it a shot. I've done bubble prints in my room and in fact you can see a video of my students doing it on my YouTube channel and um, so I went ahead for a dollar and got this guy because I thought it might make uh, the mixing up of the bubble paint a little bit easier if I already had this. So it's also cheaper than the dishwashing soap that I use so I'll let you know how this one turns out. Um, they did have some great things for working with clay. I love to have the kids put a texture down on their table and then press their clay or pound their clay into that and pull it off because it reveals this beautiful texture that they can use for their projects. So some things that I always use for that are doilies and usually at the craft store doilies are kind of expensive. So this was a twofer and I was really excited to find these and you know doilies you can use them year after year after year. The clay dust you just kind of shake it out. They're just going to stay dirty and that's okay. These I thought would be a lot of fun to use use also. Imagine the great texture the kids are going to get when they uh, press their clay into that. So that was a couple other clay finds. And they actually have like an entire teacher section at the Dollar Tree. Um, I found these. I don't know how I plan on using them but I love me some ketchup and mustard so I thought that was pretty adorable. This, I mean, right? I couldn't just leave this there. It's got paint palettes and they're sparkly. It had to come home with me. I'm going to go with um, kind of like a tiki theme, building on that from last year in my room, a jungly tiki theme. And I thought that giant toucan was pretty awesome for that and some little hula ladies with their ukuleles. How adorable. And they have some table coverings there. 
Now they do have table coverings and they're just the junky plastic ones that aren't going to last. They do have them in a bunch of different colors. So if like I color code my tables, I could use those instead of the paper that I normally use. Um, but these I have picked up because they remind me of Eric Carl. They have that painted paper kind of look that he uses. So I thought those were really fun. Oh, and to go along with my theme. Uh, I, like I said, coffee kicked in and my cart was filling up. Um, they have an amazing assortment of trays, bowls, anything you could think of for storage. I mean, there's no reason I shouldn't be organized. No, I'm just never going to get that way. That's just the way life is. But if I ever decide to get organized, that's the place to go. I love these foam trays. This is a little bit cheaper perhaps than the styrofoam trays we use or the styrofoam plates we purchase for printmaking. I'm going to do a price check on that because this was a dollar and there's 30. Also, I think these will be great for my glue trays. I talked about how I don't use glue bottles in my room, so I was excited about these. And I also loved these trays. With the, This is a nice hard plastic with three slots. Um, the possibilities for this are endless. I mean, we could even just put the paint in here since these are going to require a big amount of paint. So I picked up several of those also. And then the fun stuff. I'm all about the gadgets in my room because I'm really just a great big giant child. And so I got this clapper. Fantastic job. Since so-and-so working so nicely, let's give them a round of applause. Yeah, that's going to get old real fast, but I had to have it. Um, I thought these were fabulous for motivating the kids. These um, can sit right on their tabletop, so if you see a student or an entire table of students working really hard, you could give them the genius at work. Maybe they've had a fabulous idea. Um, superstar at work caution whiz kid at work and rock star at work so how fun are those um also i know i've seen a lot of people kind of have their students toss around a beach ball and it really kind of gets them discussing stuff it could be a good assessment tool i grabbed one because you can write on these with sharpie and i also love that it had the primary colors i thought that was pretty awesome um and I found, we'll see how this works when it comes to Bubble Town, when we do the bubble printing. Um, I thought this little, you just put this thing in your mouth and blow outward and supposedly bubbles magically appear. So I thought that might be a fun little gadget for me to use in my art room. We don't need to be sharing the germies on that. Um, I have students call tables when everybody is done cleaning up. They all stand silently supposedly behind their pushed in chair. And then I usually pick one student and say, you know, Jim, can you please um, call tables to line up? And so they usually just call red table, standing quietly, blue table. But I thought it might be fun if they gave them a good old whack. That table's doing a really good job. He could line up. Like I said, these are the kind of things that are probably going to get really old fast. And I will probably regret, but I guarantee the kids will love them. So there's that. And last but not least, I got a pool noodle. I don't own a pool, but I know somewhere I saw something, probably on Pinterest, where an art teacher had used pool noodles. Um, oh, cut them and use them for printing donuts. Boom. I'm sure you could think of something too. Anyway, so those are my Dollar Tree finds. Oh, the story I was going to tell you. So I'm in the checkout line and I have all of this stuff and I say, so um, how, how much is this? And she didn't, the checkout lady, she was very sweet, but she was busy and so she's checking all this stuff out. So she just simply pointed to the giant sign, one of the many that was above her head that said everything is a dollar. So there you have it. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have found on the cheap, either at a dollar store or somewhere else that you really recommend for your art room. Thank you for letting me unpack my bag and share my enthusiasm with you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.